What's going on everybody? Um, it's been a while since I've done a video. Uh, a lot's changed. Um, I'm no longer going to go OTR. I'm going to stay on the Walmart account that I'm on right now. Um, it pays better. Instead of 37 cents a mile on OTR, I'll get paid 45 cents per mile on this dedicated run. Um, home time's better too. If I'm if I'm here for, for for four weeks at a time, I can go home for an entire week if I want to. Um, I won't do that. I'll be out for three weeks, come, you know, go home for three days. But uh, it was a, it's a bunch of great set of people up here. They're good people. Um, my beard's getting long. My hair, my hair is fucking long as shit. So I'm going to try to get a haircut tomorrow on my reset. Um, it's 4th of July, so it's been, I've been on this, uh, what, this 20, 28 days, something like that, this new journey. Um, I did, I added up my hours, I'm at 140 hours, uh, 140 hours and like 23 minutes, so that means I need 59 hours and 37 minutes. And I'll be at the 200 hour mark. So hopefully, maybe by the end of next week, by next Friday or Saturday, I'll be done with my hours I need. And then I can proceed to do the, the, the written test, which is, the written test is uh, see how well I know the, the macros, and what the macros I need to use, and how well I know Swift's policies and procedures and then I go out for my driving test and you know, I go out you know for a little circuit make sure I can drive the truck and operate it safely and effectively and then I come back to the yard and they made me back up they made me do maybe a 45 maybe a 90 maybe an offset straight back it don't matter I can do all that shit don't matter don't make no difference to me um, so yeah if I can finish up by the end of next week and get my truck by Monday that give me like two weeks of on the road by myself until I go home. Which I'll be home. I'm setting my home time for the 27th. That way I can be home and everything and not to stir up and make sure I'm home for Shark Week. So I don't want to put it for the 28th and then I get home like the evening of the 28th. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to put it for the 27th the day before. So I'll be home Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and I'm going back out Thursday. Thursday, I'm heading, heading out. So I'm gonna miss a lot of days on that paycheck. So that's gonna suck ass, but I'm gonna be working uh, that Friday. Friday I'll work, I have like probably two loads, so I'll probably have like around four or 500 miles. And then I'm gonna get an OTR load heading out of there sometime Saturday, so I may, deliver Saturday morning, come back to the yard, grab an OTR load, and head down to, like, uh, Tallahassee, and then stop by Ocala and drop off the trailer in Ocala and then head home. Um, I don't know if I have enough hours to do that. I may have to, you know, drive an hour off duty. But we'll see. We'll see, we'll see how it works. Um, what else? I know my hair is so my hair is so fucked up. <laughs> it's all right. Uh, I got me a ball cap. Um, I've lost weight. I don't know if anybody can tell on on, on the on the thing. Um, I look like Santa Claus. I mean, I got a lot. I mean, look at all this gray in my beard. I, I mean, I got a few strands of dark ones, but I got some. Yeah. Fuck it. I'm not gonna shave. I'm just gonna grow that bitch out like this. Look like real Santa Claus. I thought I'd be skinny, so I'd be skinny Santa Claus. So, um, yeah, we're just keep, we're, we're, just, we're, we're, we're keeping it going. Um, I still miss everybody. I'm not as homesick as I was. Uh, I've got, I've gotten used to it. One thing I don't like is sleeping when the fucking truck is moving. Um, I don't like that shit. I don't get rested sleep. Last night, Oh, excuse me. Last night, I 
last night the truck wasn't moving. We thought we were going to do a reset today, but they roped the doped us in doing a fucking uh, some work today. So, but I got some really good sleep last night. That was great. That's the best sleep I've had in like a week. But, uh, yeah, I don't know what else to, 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 to go over. I mean, like I said, you know, I'm, I'm not going to be OTR. I'm going to be up here in Alabama. So my service area I'm going to go to is uh, Mississippi, Alabama, Florida, Georgia, and maybe parts of Tennessee. So those five states. Which will work out good for the winter, too. I don't have to go over fucking all those stupid-ass snow or shit. So that'll work out. Um, yeah, that's good. It's great. So, all right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and let you go. I'm going to say I love you and miss you all. Um, can't wait to see everybody on Sunday. But, you know, if I don't see you on Sunday, on uh, Shark Week, you know, I'm sure I'll see some of you on, uh, the, 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 you know, my other days. So, all right. This is probably my longest video. We're sitting at a Walmart right now. We're sitting at Golf Golf Shores, Alabama. Um, this is a kind of fucked up things we gotta avoid. We gotta avoid these stupid fucking things because Walmart don't know how to order their goddamn products right. You know, I should show you what the fucking back store, the back of the Walmart look like. The fucking uh, back rooms, they're full of shit. And Walmart wants to sit there and be all proud, like, you know, we, we, we got this advanced ordering system. Well, your order system sucks, Walmart, because when we come here with a fucking loaded truck, there ain't nowhere to put the shit. How much, how Walmart's order system is supposed to be is every time an item goes through the, the register, the system's supposed to order a, another item to replace that item. So that way they have constant have stock. Well, in theory, that works great. But when you allow human beings to meddle with it and to add shit to it, it don't work that good. Because then what happens is that system doesn't realize that it's got extra shit. So every time it goes through, it orders it automatically. And then these retarded as humans who work for Walmart order more of that same shit. And it doesn't increase the quantity in the store. So if we have, say, a case of orange juice, and the threshold, say, there's 12 in a box, and when it gets down to where the order, automatic order system says, eight's been sold, we need to order another case so we don't run out of this product. That's great. Human beings are like, oh, well we're, well, we're gonna go on sale, so we're gonna order four more additional cases, but they don't add it to the inventory. So when it sells eight, it orders another box. So eventually it has like 18 goddamn boxes back here that don't need it. So Walmart has a, sh it's, 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 it's good concept on how to order things to make sure you don't run out of product. But when you allow the human factor to fuck it up, it, it, it gets bad. But anyway, guys, I'm going to get going. I love y'all. I'll see y'all in the next video.